Good morning, folks. We are just a few hours away from the start of the CME impacts. We'll be looking at some very cool science here, including a planetary system resonance, a first in another galaxy, and solar forcing on pregnancy. But we begin with the last 24 hours on our star. Localized coronal activity continued at the southern active region, but that was about it. A welcome calm on our star after it released three eruptions at Earth over the last couple days. If you caught our video last night, you know that NOAA has put all three CMEs on their Enlil spiral and is now forecasting level 1 geomagnetic storms tonight with the first impact and then possibly up to level 3 storm conditions when the others arrive tomorrow. This will not be the solar kill shot, but strong auroral displays are likely as well as minor technological glitches and local and regional scales. Of course, in about four days, we'll have the coronal hole solar wind arrive as well. This massive opening will face Earth tonight and tomorrow, and will kick in an enhanced earthquake magnitude warning. We are eyes open on the space weather heading this way now, but in the meantime, let's start the science. We've got a six-planet system imaged and determined to have significant resonance between its planets. This is when the orbits are factors of the orbits of their neighboring planets, and when they plot those resonances, Look what happens. Math fans may recognize what's happening there. The universe is just so cool. Up next, we're zooming in on another galaxy, and for the first time ever, they have spotted and identified a stellar jet outside the Milky Way. Things like this are easy to spot in our own galaxy, but the jump in technology the last couple years is revealing much more in the cosmos than we could see before. Last but not least, we've seen these studies before, but this one dives deeper and confirms much of what we've already seen. Exposure to UV light, which helps us make vitamin D, improves pregnancy outcomes, but high sunspot number, leading to high solar activity and geomagnetic storm activity, lead to a statistically significant increase in pregnancy loss. This is especially true in the early stages of that journey. It's dark, but useful information. We greatly appreciate your support. We're watching the solar wind, especially for what tomorrow is expected to bring. We'll do this all again tomorrow, right here, but right now at 6 a.m. in the new Valley of the Sun. Eyes open, no fear. Be safe, everyone.